everybody, my name is Khalees, aka K2 Reyna, and welcome back to my channel, All About Me. So today, we're going to be reacting to a little video. But before we get into that, can we discuss the makeup, please? I went for something a little bit minimalistic, but I never was really a blush girl, but I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it. I had to learn where I wanted to put it, but I think this time I did a really good job. I didn't put it too close to my nose. I didn't put too high up to my eyes. I didn't put too low down here. My face looks droopy. I did um, some translucent powder underneath it so that it can stay in its place. I blended it out. It's giving good vibes. It's giving good vibes. Moving on, the video that I'm going to be reacting to today is an episode the first episode of t and coco if you don't know who coco jones is her name is courtney jones she was born january 4th 1998 she's 23 years old so you know she's a capricorn baby one of the best capricorn babies because she was born in january it's a vibe here it's a vibe capricorn supremacy in this household period Period. She's a singer, songwriter, and actress. Very talented, might I say. A lot of you might know her from when she got her start on Disney. She was on Disney's Next Big Thing and on the very popular movie, Let It Shine. She was also featured in a lot of Disney shows like Good Luck Charlie, So Random, and etc. She also started her singing career. However, her singing career was kind of difficult, might we say, because we all know the very popular song. But the problem with that song is that she had to fight for that song to be released due to the company that she was working with wanting her to give a more Caucasian performance and she just wasn't that because she's black so it just didn't really work out. Coco Jones tells the story on her YouTube channel if you guys would like to check that out that'll be linked in the description box down below but in one video in, on Terrell's channel who is T from Teen Coco she states that they tried to make a white formula Disney they tried to make a white formula work on a black girl instead of taking the white formula and making it black for the black girl even though they loved her personality and they always talked about how much they loved her and her singing and her acting her vibe they just did not want to compromise to allow someone who looks like her to be able to be a star In my opinion she was a star anyway it is actually very common experience in the industry unfortunately for black people more specifically black women no matter what part of your industry you're in whether it be ran by other people uh outside of your race or whether it be ran by actual black people there's always some form of white ideology being pushed that makes it harder for women that look like coco jones to be able to get their flowers get their applause usually they get passed up for women who look or are mixed or biracial so hopefully with her being honest about her story that can spark up a movement of people really being inclusive when it comes to fully black melanated black women so after all her deals with disney fell through she continued to make music she continued to act even if she wasn't really in the spotlight it wasn't until 2020 where gen z who grew up on coco jones found her again um in september on september 12th of 2020 she released her video titled what really happened where she basically had a story time and people really enjoyed it because not only was she telling her truth truth that black women have been trying to speak up about for the longest time but she was hilarious she was really really funny she was a vine girl she was a vine okay like people could really relate to her it got to the point where clips of her story times would be played on tiktok I so da -da -da -da. yes i did that and you would do it too for a check i was an employee and i was gonna get employee of the month and that's a period 
And her being the smart Capricorn businesswoman that she is, took advantage of her newfound TikTok fame and started posting her own remixes to really popular songs. I know you don't, I know, impatient, conceited, but I swear it's like I need it. And market her new music though, if you want to support her. Okay, check out her channel, check out her music, all right. Also in her video, she stated that there will be a movie that she is acting in in one of the lead roles called Vampires vs. the Bronx. I watched it with my mother, who was from the Bronx, <laughs> and it was a very entertaining movie. It was a very entertaining movie. It made me laugh. It was really cute. I loved it. So I support Coco Jones' supremacy, period. Period. But then after that video, people wanted to see more from her and she wanted to supply the demand. So she went on to the Terrell show. Terrell said that he was getting blown up everywhere being told to showcase Coco Jones on his show where they do song association. If you guys don't know what song association is, it's basically you get a word and you have to sing a song that has the word in it or in the title. During that video, people loved them. See this card at the end? Oh no. my God, the writing's so tiny. It's so tiny. So I can't look. Exactly. That's the. How can you see? Your glasses are, don't have lenses in them. And the supporters demanded more. And this is what I mean by we need to support our black women. If you love them, think they're talented, help supply more, give them that support, give them some guap, you know what I mean? If they're giving the vibes, if they're giving the talent, then give them the support. Period. Like I said, you have to supply. So they created a show called Tea and Coco, where they basically cook complex dishes and see how they turn out. Now, if you're wondering, why would they ask for that? Who's asking for that? It's because on the Song Association video, they Coco Jones stated that she enjoys cooking. However, if she doesn't have to cook, she will not cook. And Terrell and Coco Jones talked about how they run up that Postmates bill on a daily. And I was like, girl, is this an earth sign thing? Because Terrell is a Virgo, apparently. Like, is this an earth sign vibe? Because I'm Capricorn with a Virgo moon. And like, I like cooking. I like trying to cook different things. But the idea of having to clean after that or not having enough space to cook everything, that overwhelms me so if i don't have to cook i really won't okay now it's time to watch tea and coco yeah tea and coco this episode is called fish eyeballs our delicious delicacy i'm about to say because what Soulmates. We are. Yeah. Thank you very much. Period. Mom, the milk. Why, Coco? 
Just a reminder to get in line. Is it your thing? I mean, as a growing fetus, yes. I mean, I don't crave it now. I decided to, clearly you can see, I decided to give us our own damn show because we're two wonderful chefs, okay? We're professionals, really. Period. We're professional, amateur, uh, Michelin starred chefs. <laughs> so we're going to show y'all how to cook. <laughs> they made yeah, the uh, same face. Professional. Who are, who were you referencing there? Because I don't, I I don't recall us ever being. We're professional that. amateurs. Okay. Well, I I just look at how my hands are sitting in my pocket. <laughs> professional <laughs> amateur shit. Roxy is gonna challenge me and Terrell to cook some meals that we've never even eaten before, let alone cooked before, in this cute little kitchen mm -hmm. in Los Angeles. Hopefully, we don't burn it down. Okay. Let's, okay. let's insurance. Not fire extinguisher. Okay. Do we have insurance? Because we um. Because yeah. I didn't even know. Yes. We're gonna okay. So perfect. All right, we're gonna try to cook this bougie. Yeah. <laughs> On today's episode, I'm challenging T and Coco to make snappers. Snapper. Oh, oh. Can we get some instructions? <laughs> Are there, is, is there a recipe? Is there a recipe? <laughs> Stupid. Now, I know you're not bringing the entire. Okay, we don't have to look for Nemo. He's here. What did you just bring me? Oh, they left the eyes on it. The eyes have had it. The eyes. Oh, the eyes. The have eyes. It. Oh, it's giving gummy bears. Why would, it's you, why would you put your whole nail in your right hands? I, I didn't have to acrylic it. My bad. Black. <laughs> the eye nail attached. I don't think that's how this was supposed to go. Is that what? She's about to have some fishy acrylics. <laughs> Snapper means the eyeballs are still attached. Um, okay, I'll do the first step and you pick up from there. Well, I'm gonna pause right there because okay. the first step is preheat. Mm -hmm. That's very simple. Preheat yes. the oven to 325. Please don't burn the kitchen down. F 160C. I can do that part. Now, after that, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm so not sure. he's just giving preheat. That that's it's giving preheat. It's giving me a little unbalance. I might be unsure about yeah. the first step. If the fins are still on the fish. Use some kitchen scissors to cut them off. Oh, we're doing operation. <laughs> the cavity. Hell no. The mm -hmm. cavity. I have to go in its mouth. Uh, Isn't that where you like slice it down the middle, you open it, and then it comes to the cavity, then you stuff the stuff in it? Like, it's like stuffed chicken, kind of. I think that's what it means. We'll see. Oh, it's gooey as hell. Wow. I'll take this part. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the cavity. No, ah, you're gonna vomit. Shit, yeah, you're gonna it. vomit there. Fuck it. That was vomit work. That was opened like a book. <laughs> that right there was chapter and page. And that, I don't like to see that. <laughs> don't <laughs> hurt yourself. <laughs> Come on, Jamel. I don't know where to go. Here, just chop upwards. Like, chop. A friend of mine um, almost cut her whole finger off trying to slice an avocado. So I'm convinced anything could happen. So I hope that they're careful. <laughs> Stop! Okay. Stop! Ooh, okay, good. There we go. That's good. Th they're yes, scaring yep. me. <laughs> yep. Girl, uh, yep. don't get the wig uh, in it. Flash zone. You're almost mm -hmm. in. Don't get it in the wig okay. now. <laughs> okay. Done. All right. Cool. Did it. Did it. Season both the inside and the outside of the fish liberally. Okay, not republicanly. <laughs> I was about to say that. Of salt. <laughs> All right. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna open. Oof! Uh, you're gonna do this one, all right? You're gonna give it that. Well, let's do the outside first. Outside Don't first. touch your face oh, with the fish hands. Things in there. What do you mean there's some things in there? I have a real question. What is it? There's some things in this fish, <laughs> and I don't know if it's healthy. Is this a health hazard? <laughs> no, that ain't gotta be cleaned out, bro. Oh, how do you know the? They said it was. They said it was cleaned That's when I picked said. it up. Yeah. Oh. Smoker line. Smoker line. I don't want to do this show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna cry. It does look a little bit um. Right. Don't look a little bit. It's normal. Okay, normal. Okay, normal. Let me Google it. Ask Jesus. Oh, she's gonna clean it for them. Well. <laughs> is this fish well? It's it's going I'm through it. No <laughs> It's had some rough times. It's okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's much better. Liberally, they Can I see the inside? Oops. Oops. You know, I 
know, spill that. Liberally. Do we have to cook the eyeball? Stuff the cavity with lemon slices, mm. oregano sprigs, mm. and whole basil. basil. Leaves. Oh, I, didn't know you were giving it I was giving it Gordon. Okay. So stuff the cavity. So go ahead, open it up, because I can I can just drop this. And in. make sure you get in there. Nope, that's not gonna work. He <laughs> can <laughs> be spilling in there. Oregano sprigs. Do you put all of them? Bro, this you have to really place these. No, no, no. You have Sprinkle. to sprinkle. No. Okay. Yeah. Olive oil, two tablespoons. We don't measure nothing. We're going to just Wait, oh, oh, wow. Okay, oh. that's bold. Of you. Well, I do that too, so uh, let's go. Okay. Let the ancestors guide you, okay? C tablespoons, never met her, never seen her. We just do it with our eyes closed, period. No, I, I can no, 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 no. I, I can hold it for you, and you're going to grab its body and oh. its tailbone. Oh. What? If you don't just manhandle it. Honestly, it smells good, Terrell. It does smell actually good. I, I think what happened was... The way that I salted it was so professional that the smells and the aroma, the salt really woke it up. We need some more olive oil. Right, right. Is right. Need some olive oil. So here we go. Look at that. I'm looking at that shit. <laughs> Oh my salt. God, the eyeball. Okay, so now we gotta cook this part. So we gotta slide him up that way. All right. Here. Let me see. Here. Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. Yes, yes, yes. What? Is there a bigger pan? Is that is that how you're supposed to do it? Oil off the pan. What? Drizzle the fish with another two tablespoons of olive oil and add the cherry tomatoes and red pepper flakes and red pepper flakes and cook them? until the tomatoes begin to release some of their liquids about three minutes instead of potato. All right. I'm just gonna. Where's the fish go? Back over I, there. That's unsanitary. But let me just. Rinse it. I'm, I'm gonna stressed. Rinse it. I'm gonna rinse it. I'm gonna be. It's 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 giving me burnt. It's sounding like it's okay. Are you supposed to? People do this. Okay. I'm stressed. <laughs> they stress oh, me so out. It's not smelling right. Oh no. Something's not right. You're supposed okay, to do that. Here, 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 here. Oh my god. The fire alarm. Okay, just. They said more olive oil for this. For this? Yeah. Hold on. That look, just look, can't be right. Look, it's so much the oil. Out, then drizzle the fish with another two tablespoons of olive oil, oil and add. Cherry tomatoes. Are you, are you talking where? about? Where? Yes. Where? Where? Maybe the fish goes back in the pan. There's no way. This has to be the oven now. It has to but be the The fish is going to cook in the Let's pan. Let's keep reading because I'm upset now. Ah, God. Let's just do it. Let's this just, is your drizzling. part. You, you drizzle. That's you. Add the cherry tomatoes. And the two. red what? Um, the pan. Know. Put it in the pan. In the pan. Put it in the pan. In the pan now or let or it has to be back in the pan. It has to be. How else are we gonna cook this? So this gotta go back in the pan. Stress. Why would they have us clean it out just to put it back? That doesn't make sense. At all. Absolutely right. That was some good seasonings that we just wiped we out. We just wiped out. So okay. Who so, made this recipe? So when did the cherry tomatoes get cooked? Add the cherry tomatoes and the red pepper. That's the why are we then, stuck on step four? It's not working out. This must be in the pan. Cook until the tomato. It, how else are they gonna cook? They By themselves. The Without the fish or with the fish. Wait, do we put the fish? They did not say put the fish back in You're the right. jacuzzi. Cook until the tomatoes begin to release some of the Stir in the potatoes. And then it says Stir squeeze the, the juice from the lemon over, over the, the fish, fish and, and pour, pour in the chicken, chicken broth. broth. Where did the broth? chicken broth come from? Here go the chicken broth. Oh, it magically appeared. TV magic. This is <laughs> All these things are things. And then afterwards, we, after the lemon goes on the fish, then right. we go back in there. That's because the sauce is made now. Oh, you're right. That's exactly how Doesn't it Doesn't that sound right? Yes. Adding the cherry tomatoes. <laughs> it's too sketchy that there's no water. Girl, I'm confused. I didn't like the way they resonated. Potatoes in. Stir in the potato. Okay. Stir it in. Yeah. Pour in the chicken broth. So I think we pour that in here. Just dance. It'll be okay. <laughs> da da doo doo. Yeah. You know? Carefully flip the fish over and baste with the sauce. It's not looking very saucy. It's not good sauce. You gotta, gotta stir it. It's gotta hit. It's gotta caramelize. It'll be saucy. Yeah. Carefully flip the fish over and baste with. I mean, it's really no need to flip it because who knows what side it's on anyway. We have a little bit of oil here. Well, I don't. I don't know what we're supposed to do with it, but I'm a, let me see. Let me do this. Oh my God! What if it's that one thing where they make it a little? They cover. Oh, you, you should. Know? And then they put it all in there, and then it does what it does. Right. In there. Right. True. What True. I was talking about you know when when they put the fish in it and then they wrap it. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. So, so. <laughs> Why'd you take him? More. <laughs> we got a rabbit in one. <laughs> oh, we lost one. Okay. Hey, that's right. Like something. That looks I don't right. think that. That looks like um, it's gonna do something. To check for doneness, push the head down gently in the area between the nose and the top of the head. When the head. When the head easily moves away from the back and the neck, the fish is ready. I know. <laughs> I'm not doing any of that. In goes uh, the fish. All right. Oh, Careful oh, now. Oh, it's hot. No, it's not. Yes. That's full. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Carefully transfer to a rimmed serving platter, pouring any liquid from the cavity back into the pan. Oh, God! Oh, no! Wait! No! 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 All the sauce? It, all the sauce has to go in here? Should this come out? It has to come it out. It has to come clearly out. Clearly, it's not supposed to be in there yet. Clearly. Oh, my and you God. And it with so much of the water Back to step four, where everything turned for the worse. I feel like I'm serving a murder mystery. Like, this is, what is this? Who I done like it? The FBI. Who done it? Who? Who is the killer? Transfer the fish to the oven. Is there anything on the fish? Was the fish supposed to go in the oven by, by itself? itself? 18 to 19 minutes. Check for doneness. It doesn't say anything about the cherry tomatoes or it the potato in here. I, I think, think the fish was going solo. But why was it resting then? This isn't even our damn fault. After it said, uh, uh, drizzle the fish with another two tablespoons of olive oil, mm -hmm. it should have said, and put that shit in the oven. This is it, and add the cherry tomato. This is not for show. We're really f***ing confused. Yeah, honestly. Okay, so first we have to separate. First. Yeah, first. I do. Damn it. Oh, man, it's getting soggy. It looks soggy. But you know what? We'll put it in the oven. It'll crisp it right on up. Okay, yes. Crisp it right on up. Yes. <laughs> and lift it on three and one, one two, two, three. three. Oh, that, that, that shouldn't have fallen out. So this goes back in. Yeah. Toward that. Over that. that. It's Ooh. the way that that's not. It's it's not. Now, what's next? Chiropractor, the back and the neck. Well, well, it says, check, what are we checking for? Done Push this. the head down gently in the area between the nose and the top of the head. When the head easily moves away. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it is Look easily moving Look away from the neck, from the back of the neck. Yep. That fish ain't got no damn neck. Just, <laughs> just right is that his neck? Yeah. Coco said this is approved and done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's next? <laughs> Pour the soft and vegetables over the fish and serve. So we didn't use a large spoon to remove the scale from the fish. Here you go again, because why would you want us to remove the scales after we've already put the vegetables on there? Exactly. Don't to turn it over to eat off the other, other side. side. What no, in the hell is going on? Crazy. I am over it. No, you're crazy. Pour the sauce and vegetables over the fish and serve. That okay. should be the last sentence. That should be the last it's sentence. Not. How is there it's more not. to do after it's and serve? serve? I guess you do serve it like that, and then when the person gets it, they, they do this it. part. Okay. Maybe they're saying you can, you can. Like, if you want to eat the other side, it's available to well, you. you. Well, you know what? Let's let's end it at serve, because that's what we're here to do. <laughs> serve. Bon appetit. Uh -oh. That, Girl. That's a snapper. Girl. Honestly. <laughs> What's girl. That? What you finna do? We gotta taste it, girl. Rossi, come on in here. You gotta taste it. If you're paying attention, we made this recipe really easy to follow. I don't know, <laughs> How guys. did we do, Roxy? I don't... Well... Is it cooked? I think Is it I'm, not cooked? I think I'm gonna let you guys try it. Is it not cooked first? Can you let us know if there's salmonella in here or E. coli, please? Hey. Oh. Uh -oh. Huh? Okay. There was potential. <laughs> And what we were trying to do. Okay. But that is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Jen almost took me home. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. It didn't do? What happened? Are there so much calamity? Do people leave this whole section alone? No, to eat the eyeball. head. I'm about to say because what? Coco! My! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why? What I 
tell you, I had no idea that it was going to give this? Put it down! It's dripping! This is our delicacy. If you get food poisoning, if you, if that you is not that. covered by our fraudulent insurance. First of all, insurance. if I'm getting food poisoning, we're all getting food poisoning. <laughs> this has been cooked for an incorrect amount of time in incorrect fashion. If you even so much as lick it, I'm going to scream. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, no, Coco, don't do it. Don't do it, sweetie. Please, please. I almost, I almost upchucked. I almost lost it. It was giving escargot. <laughs> escargot? Which is also a delicacy. <laughs> Coco, put the eyeball back on the plate. Put it back in his socket. For You're right. Sex. Let me do him solid. Uh, Here's your eyeball right back. Right in there. Right in Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Tea and Coco. Uh, please don't forget to um, subscribe. Yeah, yes, please like if you liked anything that happened in here today. Comment. Oh, God, I'm not ready for the comments. <laughs> but if you do, subscribe on your way out if you're not already here. This recipe can go to hell. <laughs> Next time on Tea and Coco. So roll it, so roll it, and roll it, and roll it. The words you're saying sound good, but they don't add up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that was Tea and Coco. That was hilarious. Let me know what, how you guys felt about that in the comments down below. Um, personally, I've always wanted to do these that type of show where it's like challenges and stuff like that. Personally, I would rather do like variety show style. So sometimes it's cooking, sometimes it's something else. I really like challenges, new experiences, things like that. So that's something that I would love to do and the future and this is just it's hilarious i love this i can't wait to see future episodes please leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video there are many ways to support my channel i have a paypal cash app and venmo linked in the description down below if you want to donate or tip me if you enjoyed this video and you're feeling generous other than that way you can help me grow my support is by liking commenting and sharing also subscribing and clicking that bell notification it helps make sure that my video gets into the algorithm so other than that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye